uh, with David Long, I know he's been he's been in a, a starting role now for a couple of weeks. What kind of progress have you seen uh, him make from an on field perspective, communication? I guess just kind of the the entire body of work uh, through these last couple. Well, you know, David's a very instinctive guy that also is is um, works hard in meetings, takes a lot of notes, asks a lot of questions, so he doesn't he doesn't. Uh, have a lot of mistakes when he's out there. He's very productive. Like I said, very instinctive, has a great nose for the ball. And, um, you know, I just see a guy that the more, you know, he hasn't played much, but the more he's out there, the, the better he gets. And whatever details that he needs to clean up, he'll clean up the next day. Like I said, he takes notes, he takes coaching, he does a great job. With with uh, with a play like the the one that Stafford had on the the goal line touchdown, where he it's almost looked to be a little bit of a no look pass, fits the ball in that tight window and, and seemed to move the linebackers out of position. Is there really is there really anything that you can kind of coach guys up on on that, or is that just a, a spectacular quarterback play? Yeah, that was just uh, he looked him off and uh, he came back and I mean it was a nice play by uh, by the quarterback, obviously. Glennon. Glennon, I think you're muted. Well, let's try that again. Sorry about that. Um, Jim, yeah, touching on, on David Long again. Um, how has he done? How has he adjusted, I guess, to uh, the coverage? I know that's an important uh, role now, especially with Jay on out. Uh, how, how has he done, you know, this season in terms of getting better on the on the coverage front, do you think? Well, I think he, he is getting better because, you know, be, uh, he, he like any other young guy that hasn't played a lot, uh, his first uh, week playing, he, he gets the, the kid from the Colts, number 21, who's really spectacular receiver. And he had David kind of peek back and, you know, when you're playing man to man and you're doing things, you got to train your whole body. you got to train your eyes you got to stay on, on the guy you're covering. You can't peek back and see what's going on. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think that's the area David got much better in the second, the second week. Uh, he improved. Like I said, he works hard. He tries whatever mistake he makes. He'll work, he'll work hard to fix it the next time. So he doesn't do it again. And uh, I think that's all you can really ask of a guy like that. Thank you. David Beauclair. Jim, you've you've dealt with a lot of really good quarterbacks in this league. Where does Aaron Rodgers and the way he's playing right now stack up? Oh boy, he's one of the top guys. He's you know we we just played a great one in Stafford, and you know it seems like we just we just keep getting better and better. This you know played against uh, Aaron a, a number of times, and you know besides his mobility and his arm strength and uh, his quick release. He's he's not missing much. I mean, he can he can do almost anything. He even as many years as he's played, uh, you don't see a decline in his play at all. I mean, the guy's guy's spectacular. Uh, he's just it seems like it, it just he just keeps getting better and better every time you see him. As a coordinator, is there a game that you ever had really good success against him that you think? Boy, that was that was one for the one for the books there. Well, you know what? We we played him a couple of years ago, even in uh, when I was in Cincinnati, and we were we played really well. And then uh, all of a sudden, they got a couple turnovers, and he got on fire, and he came back, and he beat us in overtime. And I think the score was like seventeen nothing at one time. And uh, he just gets on he gets on a roll. You got to keep him off rhythm somehow. It's not easy, you know. Like, like I said, the guy can make off rhythm, uh, off rhythm throws. I mean, he can move his feet. He's very athletic. Yeah. You know, he can, you know, he, he ran a couple in, uh, well, ran one in last week. And he's just, you know, you don't see a real decline in his play. Buck? Yeah, just kind of staying with that same line of questioning, Coach. When you can't. Uh, when you can't confuse a guy like Aaron Rodgers for somebody who's played so much football and seen so many different uh, different defensive schemes, to to get him off rhythm, 
how can how can your guys help that that effort that attempt to kind of you know disrupt him um, in in any way possible? Well, you know, they, Aaron's got an answer for everything. You know, if you try to disguise, he'll quit contra. you. If you if you try to do different things and uh, like keep him off rhythm, he he's got a kind of an answer for everything. He's seen it. And he he knows where he wants to go with the ball. I really don't know if you can, uh, if you can, uh, one trick him or whatever you want to say it. Uh, he's kind of seen everything and, uh, he's, he's a special quarterback. And then just to bounce around with one more, uh, R- Rashawn seems to, seems to play, you know, 110% or with 100%, 110% effort and energy every time he's out there. Are there, are there any points where you have to kind of reel him back in just so he doesn't make mistakes or, or are you comfortable with if, when he does mistake, make mistakes that he's just, you know, I, I love, kind of I love the way Rashawn plays. Cause you're right. He plays, he, he plays like his hair's on fire and uh, you, you love to watch him. Uh, I think he's at his best when he triggers when he sees what he he knows what the play is and he triggers and, and whether sometimes he sometimes most of the time he's right and a couple, couple times he's wrong but he's disruptive when he's wrong but you know he he is uh, to me he's one of the better linebackers in the league just because of the way he plays you know he he understands the game uh, he plays hard I mean I don't know if anybody in the league plays harder than him at that position. Thanks very much, Coach. Jim Wyatt. Good afternoon, Coach. Uh, I guess David Long, I want to ask you a little bit about him. What, what was he like as he kind of waited his turn during the course of the season? And now how has he continued to develop for you as he's gotten more playing time? Well, D- David's been David's been good. You know, we uh, uh, he's he's good enough to be a starter in the league. He, he really is, and he's, he's proven it, uh, you know, with his play. Uh, like I was saying before, he's very, very instinctive football player. Has a great nose for the ball, uh, and knows his limitations. And he he, he kind of when he when he knows what he's doing, he he just goes and shoots his gun. And he's very active between him and Rashawn. They're they're really two active players uh, on the field at one time. So uh, I think he's getting better and better. He takes coaching, like. We got a couple of corrections I'll make today and he won't make those mistakes again. And they're nothing major, but the things to try to help him play better. And I don't think you and Kevin Green ever overlapped, you know, in Pittsburgh or, or, or maybe anywhere during your career. But as a as a somebody who loves defense and has played it and watched some of the best players in the league, what, what were your thoughts about Kevin Green as a player? And, and I, I'm a, I know you're sorry to see his passing. Yeah, that's uh, that's a that, that that one caught me off guard yesterday because I came in uh, the one year Kevin uh, was there, you know, and did a great job for the Steelers, and you know, obviously a Hall of Fame player and a great guy, and I've known him for a while, and uh, you know, it's a shame the guy the guy the guy was just one heck of a football player, you know, big, tough, strong, physical, you know, between him and Greg Lloyd. And uh, Jason Gilden, and uh, you know, you know, they had all three of those guys on the same team at one time, and uh, probably as good as an outside linebacker as you're going to get in the league. Could do it all. Could cover. Could drop. And then the best thing he did, obviously, he, he rushed. So, um, you know, it's a shame to hear it. Uh, kind of caught me off guard. You know that uh, that, and I feel sorry for his. You know, I feel for his family and his children and. What a what a great person and great football player. 